So here's what you need to flush your scooter. First you're going to need a special 5 pin connector with some DuPont wire soldered and then a UART adapter. Then you're going to need the original wrench that came with your scooter as well as a good USB a to USB-C connector. These four things are all you need to flush the scooter. Before you ask, there is no way to flush this scooter using only your cell phone. You need this hardware. You can check the description for a link where you'll find both the USB cable and the USB adapter together. Shipping usually takes three to five days to reach any country in Europe. If you want to purchase this cable, then watch my other video where we flush the scooter using some cheap Dupont cables. Let's finally begin. First, you pick up your cable and your adapter and you will connect three wires just as I show you. Remember, these colors only apply to the cable that I linked before. I'll post a picture that you can pause on the video uh, how you need to connect them. Now go ahead and connect your USB cable to your computer and to your adapter. Once you connect it to your computer, you should see a new device under Ports, under Device Manager. If you're in Windows, it should say COM2, 3, 4, etc, but not COM1. COM1 is usually for other things in Windows. However, if you don't see a device under Ports and you see something like this instead, then we'll have to install the drivers manually. We'll leave a link in the description for the drivers where you can just download and install normally. Once that is done, go to the description. I will leave links to everything, but they're also here in this tutorial, which is the original tutorial by Scooter Hacking Community. So first you want to download the BW Flasher executable or application. Just select your operating system. In my case, it's Windows. Now go back to the description and select Me Firmware Info. In here, we want to select our scooter model from the dropdown. So select 4 Pro 2nd Gen. And you want to download the MCU firmware details. Not firmware details, MCU firmware details. Now for the last link, click on BW Patcher. Here we'll drop the file that we just downloaded. And then select our scooter model. Once you select 4 Pro Second, you'll see two check marks. Remove speed limit sport and region free. I recommend you check remove speed limit and leave region free untouched. This way you will have, most importantly, a good e-brake braking. Acceleration is allegedly a bit faster this way as well, but I haven't really tested the other ones in regards to acceleration. You can spend a little bit of time looking at this chart and decide for yourself. Once we're done, we can just tumble the patch and that's all we need software wise for now. All right, it's time to get this going. So we want to take off the four screws on the head of our scooter first. Now remove the handlebar and it helps having a high table where you can place it on. And don't remove the connector just yet. Instead, you'll want to turn on the scooter, then grab your phone, open your Xiaomi Home app. Make sure to hit cancel every time it asks you to update your firmware. Scroll a little bit down and you want to turn on tail light always on. This will help us make sure that the scooter is on when we start flashing. Now we can go ahead and remove the connector that connects the bottom of the scooter to the handlebars. We will then grab our UART adapter and our 5 pin cable and Notice that there's an arrow both in the 5 pin cable as well as on the cable that comes from the scooter. Now you will want to line up both arrows together and you can rotate them both in like opposite directions and you'll feel that it clicks in one location which is where they both meet and here you will want to press firmly on them and slowly they will get together. It's finally time to flash. We start by launching the Brightway Flasher application. We see here that we have our UART adapter connected and recognized by the application. We load the bin file with the patch firmware that we got ready earlier in the video. We make sure that the scooter is still on by looking at its brake light. I recommend you hit debug mode in case there's any errors and we can begin patching. If everything is working, you will see the percentage going up slowly. If not, don't panic. There are quite a few common issues or problems that can appear. Here you can see most common problems as well as their solutions. One of them being the application is just a bit buggy. You might have to try a few times, close the application, open it again and try again and making sure that the scooter is on and make sure you follow 
follow the order of connecting the cable the same as in the video if you are still having issues join the discord that i post at the end of the video and me or someone else can try giving you a hand in the me for channel once this is done, it's time to reconnect everything, put your scooter back together and we can go and test it. Here I'm going down a slight downhill and as you'll see in a bit it reaches 35 km per hour as top speed and this makes this scooter a lot more usable. So now that you can go faster, it's important that you can stop well. And from factory, the brakes on this scooter kinda suck. So basically, what you want to do is to put your wheel sideways and tighten this nut until the point where if you press the brake just a little bit you can hear it grinding. You can adjust this as you want but this is the way I like to have it. Reaching the end and I would like to suggest watching this video. I'll put it in the description. Basically uh, he shows a way to remove the sound of the buzzer that plays once you go over 30 km per hour as well as a way to make your scooter a little bit more discreet. <laughs> if you have any doubts, go to the scooterhacking.org Discord channel. They're the ones who came up with this hack. They get all the credit. As for me, that is all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>